All right, having a code day 13. What do we got? We got a grid. Flux. Uh, uh, each. Okay. Fine. There are multiple lines of symmetry. I guess we're just going to assume that there's only one. Um, sure.
this long. Yo five one eight. All right. Interesting. Okay. So what was going on here? So we're given uh, a bunch of grids, right? That separated by blank lines, which are just patterns of dots and hashes, and we're meant to find lines of symmetry. I still think it's unclear in the problem how many lines of symmetry, but I guess well, I just found all of them. I think it's uh, given that there's only one line of symmetry. Um, and then we add up uh, basically the index um, of the column number or 100 times the index of the row number uh, if you want to index them. Um, and the lines of symmetry are supposed to be like between two columns, right? So five is, in this case, we have a vertical line of symmetry where column five equals column six, column four equals column seven, column three equals column eight, two equals one, and nine doesn't equal anything um, because, I don't know, you're allowed to not have a, you're allowed to have some extra. Um, although, you know, importantly, we can't have line of symmetry like here, even though that would be valid it flex onto nothing or here, uh, which is actually a bug that I had is um, this sort of off by one error where I, w w you know, wanted to avoid checking this and this, but I also was avoiding checking this one, which is wrong. Um, so anyway, how does that work? So separate by, t you know, slash n slash n, that means like cut out the blank lines. So this is all of our grids. Parse each, parse each grid into uh, an actual grid of characters, number of rows, number of columns, and then check for vertical symmetry. So this is for part two. Um, I'll just call this grid. Uh, so to check for symmetry, so this is saying like, is there vertical symmetry about this column? Um, so sort of go out from this column. Uh, and compare, you know, this column to this column, right? So this is going uh, out zero, you know, out zero, right? So this would be comparing like five to six here, and then you go out to the next two and the next two until you run off one of the ends, and then go with all the, all the rows and check if that column actually matches. Uh, and similarly for the rows, so pick, just try all of the possible symmetries along rows and then walk out from that row, you know, before, if you don't hit the edge, go through all the columns and see if they match. Uh, so in part one, we were looking for a perfect match. And then in part two, we were looking for an imperfect match and off by one. Um, so let me adjust this to work for both part one and part two. Three oh five one eight and three six seven three five. Cool. That solves both parts. Right. So as I said, for part two, uh, we were looking for a line of symmetry, but not with a perfect match with uh, exactly one mistake. So you know, just go through go through the same symmetry check, count how many mistakes there are, uh, and if there's exactly one mistake, then that's our line of symmetry. Um,
yeah, I think I think it says that there's exactly one line of symmetry in each grid for both part one and part two, but it's not totally clear. Anyway, whatever, it's fine. Um, so yeah, that's it for day 13. See you tomorrow.